Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suited for all audiences. As of now, viewer discretion is advised. Again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is John Mori, and welcome back to Soma. Now, last time we were at Delta Base, we no longer have our friendly little K-8 unit, and I'm sad about that, but let's keep moving forward to Theta. Strasky, wake up Dr. Masters, we're bringing in Acres. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. Jesus Christ. He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The valve sure did a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait. Where are Kumarabi and the others? This is all we got. I guess it's still at Delta. Yeah, I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. Strask, ready or not, we're coming in. All right, see you soon. Oh, and by the way, we found out that uh, Acres is completely and utterly nuts, and he should be stopped at all costs. Okay, not sharks. I've got no qualms with sharks. Like... Actually, I do like sharks. Would I be afraid if I was put in front of one? Yes because I don't want to die. Well, that's not how I want to die. But, if it were to happen, it happens. It's not my greatest fear down here, is all I'm saying. You know, there's a lot here I've never actually explored. Oh, there's no getting in there. That's everything, right? Thank you, Catherine. Wait. Am I already here? Hello? Who is that? Mark? No, we haven't met before. Is this Mark? I think we're safe. Oh, I was so worried something had gone wrong. What's your name? Robin Bass. Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. How did you get here? I got scanned, like the others. And then I killed myself. At least I think so. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living scan in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? <laughs> no. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmeyer when someone killed themselves. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. Robin... I'm not sure how to say this. What? This... This is... Yeah? Pretty amazing, right? I mean, the Ark. Yeah, it's great. Catherine and the guys have really pulled through. They saved us all. See you later. 
Will do. I'll be going now. Let me know if you find anyone else. You good? I think so. I feel fine. Okay. Okay. I don't understand. So, she thinks she's in the Ark. She thinks she's saved. And yet... Is this what it's supposed to look like? I'm still feeling bad from the last part. I expected something different. I can't do it. If I pull this, she's dead. Where is everyone? I'm not the only one who got scanned. I can't leave her like this. But there are other things to Mark. Hello. God damn it. I'm leaving. Thing on? Can everyone hear me? Go ahead, Strom. Listen up, all members of staff. The art project has caused a lot of arguments the last few months. I'm not going to pretend I understand what the hell Sarang talked about and how his continuity suddenly made sense to kill yourself. For the fucking love of God, or whatever you think is important, don't kill yourself. This place is miserable enough. Don't force your friends to clean up your blood. Rest in peace. Quality. Good? Beautiful, sir. All right, everyone. Show's over. Get back to work. They're... Eternity among the stars. You're so smart it makes my head spin, but sometimes you just disappear into yourself. Suddenly it's like talking to a fucking five-year-old. It's just hard. I can't just be more like that. Everyone would know I'm pretending. It's not too late to win people over. Strasky likes you. I like you. Reed likes you. Strasky likes everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wait, you think Reed likes me? Catherine, a lot of people like you. You just need to open up a little. Be more approachable. Can I get back to work now? I'd rather not be reprimanded twice in one day. Okay. See you back inside. Over and out. Hmm. Well, that's distracting for about two seconds from the graves I just walked into.
I really couldn't do it. Quite frankly, I... What truly defines anything as living or not? What is human and what is not? Hello? Anyone there? Well, Catherine, we found Theta. Alright. I think I get the hint game. Let's see what I have to do. We're here? We're here! Okay, great! Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. Uh... What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself. Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... it's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. God damn it. What's wrong? It's... It, it's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. I know what's here. This is a bad idea. Oh well. Gotta do what I gotta do. Thanks, Dromar. That's a real helpful report. Be quiet, the proxy listens. What happened to Theta? Fuck. No explanations anywhere. That sounds like a warning. Fucking hell. Guess which door I need to go into.
So I don't remember if this thing can see or not. By the sounds of it, from that log, it can't. However, I don't know for sure. But as soon as I hit this... That fix it? I don't know if it did. I need to check in a second. I think that did it. So let's get the hell out of here and uh, pretend this thing does not exist. Yeah, um, I hope, like hell, we don't have to come back down here. I don't remember if we do or not. Sayonara. Good job, Sam. This better have worked. I'm not going down there again. Oh, right, I remember what... Never mind. Wait, do I go back to... Yeah, I think I have to go back to Catherine. Uh, there's so much I don't remember about this. We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Well, here goes nothing. I think through here is safe enough. Why this was sealed off. Oh, this place looks deserted. So far. It doesn't make any sense. Theta is clearly the best option for survival. I'll come back to that. I didn't realize we were at that point already. Where the hell 
hell did they all go? If Data is out of the picture, where would you go? Probably Lambda or Omicron. Well, we've seen Lambda already. So maybe Omicron. That'd be my guess. You can't say this game does not have any atmosphere. I'm worried we won't find anyone. Maybe they all helped out with the Ark. To carry it to town? Well, it seems excessive, but not out of the question. Would you stop doing that? Guy Conrad. Schematics for power of some sort. Kobe. Ah. Never mind. Hmm. Catherine's room. Hey, that's my room. You want me to bring something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories. Journal. Imogen Reed tested a machine today. It was clearly corrupted by WoW, but more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way, like someone had specifically created it for WoW to steal. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and read along with it. At some point, she was scanned and then loaded as a simulation into the digital space. The presentation shook Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. After dissecting the Vivarium machine that Reed activated, it was clear that WoW copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar in the construction, except for one point. Where my capsule housed flat people constructed from model neurographs, the Vivarium's brain scan lives on. It isn't limited by its content from the originating brain scan Reed emitted. The Reed inside the Vivarium was a perfect copy. I have it. I can see humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pathos 2. I can't figure out how it worked with the Vivarium, but I can replicate WoW's scan, scanning technique using the pilot seat. They are already prepared with the type of electromagnetic drums needed. It was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set to allow the diffraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect WoW has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the Mockingbirds. The WoW must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seats and used it as a basis for intelligence in the machines. With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now officially started the ARC project. We are to scan all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. Then we will launch it into space using the space gun. It's nice to think something will live on like that. Mark Serenage killed himself after his scan. He's been suggesting everyone should kill themselves as it would somehow allow them to actually get onto the Ark. I'm not sure how that would work. It did trigger a lot of argument amongst the staff, and apparently it's my fault somehow. Stromheimer is not happy with me. Hope it will calm down. 
Richard gave me a set of AI templates I haven't seen before, unfolded one of them to make a new friend for Capsule Catherine and her gang of legacies. New way to simulate turbulence makes the weather system so much better. Implemented Reed didn't go well. New try with Reed. Reed won't play nicely with the others. She is too real. All right. All right, so I'll check the rest of these in the next episode. For now, I'm just going to call it a part here. If you guys like what I've been... You know what? I'm not going to do that this time. You guys know what to do if you want to. I'm kind of tired of throwing out the generic shit. So, I'll leave you with this. I'll see you all next time. If you guys want to stick around. If not, that's your call. And I don't blame you for it. But, whatever the case may be. Y'all have a nice day. And take it easy.